Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly forex forecast for the 12th of March to the 16th of March 2018. As always, we're going to be starting with the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process, and also looking at some targets for the coming week and also weeks ahead. Now, just before we start, it is worth noting that last week in the markets, we had very, very tough trading conditions last week. So if you're out there and you're using your methodology, which has maybe been working for a while and you're doing your own thing, don't be too disheartened if your methodology wasn't working last week because it was very, very tough last week. We had the unexpected announcement from a North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un, who stated that he was open to the denuclearization process. And this actually brought traders to pull money from safe haven assets, namely the yen, gold, the Swiss franc. And then on top of that, apart from that, we had four interest rate decisions. Although even having four interest rate decisions, we really had very, very little movement in the market. So it was a very, very strange week last week. So as I say, if you are out there doing your own thing, don't be too disheartened if last week you found it tough. So with that said, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, now last week we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance over here, turning support at the 89.54. You can see we did in fact get this price action, but uh, we bounced from here and pretty much, I mean, if you look at where we started the week, which was roughly in this area, you can see we more or less finished the week in a similar place. Okay, so pretty much give or take, this is where we started the week and we pretty much finished it over here. So we didn't really go anywhere last week. In fact, we just kind of went down and then up. Okay, and this is what makes that kind of week quite difficult. No clear direction, no trending, no extended moves. However, going into this week, what we are looking for is a pullback towards the key area of support at the 89.54. However, preferably we'd be looking for another retest, but any pullback into this area would be good. And we're going to be looking for, this is a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns, we're looking for a continuation to the upside. And we're looking up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 91.02, which was the key target from last week uh, we were looking at. Next, we have oil. Now, last week we started the week down in this area and we were looking for a pullback towards broken support turning resistance. We did actually get that and we got a pullback down and then we had a break of the resistance, came back, tested the support, broke a support, and now it's come all the way back to the same level. So it's actually just been crisscrossing. So another example of a market which really just was a little bit of a mess last week. However, the good news is we can cut through a lot of this noise by following simple procedures. And as we start the week above the key area of broken support and resistance at 61.93, or another way to look at it, we start the week in this zone up here. We are very simply looking and we'd first of all need a further push to the upside just to make sure that this isn't just a deep test of resistance for a push down. Okay, we'd be looking for a continued push to the upside and then we're going to be looking for a pullback, so a break of resistance pull back, test the support. And if we get this kind of price action, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get this retest of broken resistance turning support over here, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the target and the next key of resistance to the upside at the 63.87. So the first pair we're going to look at is the euro dollar. Now we go into this week with quite a clear setup in the euro dollar. That is to say, you can see towards the end of the last week, we came down, we broke below this key area of, in fact, it didn't even hold a support, held a support over here, but it just went straight through here. And we actually ended the week accumulating underneath and even coming back and testing broken support as resistance. So very simply put, all we're going to be looking for going into next week is bearish formations and patterns pretty much in the area where we are now. We may come up and get one more retest. Uh, maybe even a little deeper retest of this level. But from pretty much where we are now, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those bearish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking to initiate shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 1.22100. And if we can get a break through this key area of support, we're going to be looking for the next key area of support to the downside and target two at the 1.20890. 
Next, we have pound dollar. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance in this area. We did get that, but we actually had, as we had a really choppy week, we ended up breaking through the resistance, coming back, testing the support, and then failing a support and coming back and testing resistance. Now, although this was not very good for last week, it does leave us with a quite clear setup again going into this week. And we are simply looking pretty much in similar to the euro dollar from where we are sitting now, okay, because we've had this break of support, pullback test as resistance. So we go into next week looking for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get bearish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target one at the 1 1.3624. Next, we have US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we actually broke back above this key area of broken support over here, turning resistance. And that leaves us with this kind of momentum to the upside, okay, which is suggesting we could have further continuation up. And we're also sitting in this zone or above this key area of resistance, as I said. So very simply put, next week we're looking for a correction. And this could very easily coincide with the pullback we're looking for in the US dollar index, okay, before another move up. And if we get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support in this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside in target one, with the 107.391. But if we can get a break through here, OK, we're going to be looking for a continuation up towards the next key area resistance to the upside and target two at the 108.152. Next, we have Aussie dollar. Now, last week we started the week below this key area of broken support and we were looking for a pullback up towards this level. And you can see we did actually get this move. It tagged here and started to pull back, but it ended up breaking through the resistance like this. Uh, and it came back and you can see it's tested as support. And so very simply, all we're looking for as we start the week above this key area of now broken resistance, which has turned support, we're looking for a pullback, possibly even a retest of broken resistance turning support. And if we get this kind of price action, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside at 0 0.79145. And if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards target two and the next key area of resistance the upside after that at 0 0.79646. Now, we do also have to bear in mind that the US dollar index does look like it's going to show some strength next week, which would mean a weakening in the Aussie dollar. However, we are going into the week. If you go back and look at the US dollar index, you will see we've actually been in a range and we're kind of right in the middle of the range since the start of the year and so we are prepared to play this as it stands however we're just going to pay attention to the us dollar index because if we start to get some real strength in the us dollar index we may end up seeing a break in which case we'll start to look to the downside but as we go into the week starting above the key area of broken resistance turning support we're going to be favoring longs in the aussie dollar next we have new zealand dollar now we started last week down in this area in new zealand dollar and we were looking for a pullback and you can see we did actually have this move up towards broken support turning resistance in this area and we had this move last week and we ended up just spending the rest of the week accumulating underneath this area we tested it once twice three times uh, and very simply put going into this week we're going to start pretty much from where we are now to look for bearish formations and patterns. And as long as this key area of broken support over here, turning resistance holds, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts and we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.71876. You can see it's tested twice just in the recent past. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards target two and the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.71343. Next, we have US dollar franc. Now, we started last week in this area and we were looking for a move up towards the target. This is a new support and resistance area from the past. We were looking up towards the target of the 0 0.95511. You can see we actually came very close, but we haven't quite completed it. So very simply put, you can see going into this week, we have price correcting above this key area of resistance, the 0 0.94791. So if we get a pullback, and as long as we stay above this key area of broken resistance turning support, okay, then we're going to be looking for, first of all, move up into the target set from last week at 0 0.95511. But preferably, if we can get a break through this key area of resistance, we're going to be looking for target two and the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 0 0.96602. 
Next, we have US dollar cap. Now, last week we started the week in this area, and you can see we did come up and tag the target set from last week at the 1.29180, but we didn't really have any strong pullback or certainly didn't have a retest of broken resistance turning support. So, and if you look at it as well, you can see pretty much we spent the week going sideways, so not really huge opportunities last week. We did, however, finish the week getting a pullback back down towards this key area of broken resistance turning support. So if we get further declines into this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs, first of all, up towards the top over here and target from last week again at the 1.29180. And if we get a break through this key area of resistance, we're going to be looking for target two and the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 1.31709. And last but not least, we have gold. Now, last week we had a sell off in gold. Uh, we were actually looking for a pullback and a retest of broken support over here, turning resistance. And you can see we did actually get that move as well. However, we started to break to the upside, but you can see we had this sell off off the back of the North Korea declaration that they were prepared to denuclearize, possibly. And as a result, we saw the safe haven assets suffer. Gold, of course, one of them as the markets took a more risk on mentality, meaning that they took their money out of safe haven assets and looked to put them in riskier assets such as stocks. And so therefore we had this decline back down below this key area resistance. So very simply put, going into this, we start the week below the key area of broken support in this area, looking to test as resistance. And if we get a pullback and another test of broken support turning resistance, this is gonna be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those bearish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking for shorts down towards target one and next Kiev support to the downside at the 1307.25. Again, as you can see, tested a number of times in the recent past. But if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking for the next Kiev support to the downside and target two at the 1299.36. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A huge thank you to all of you who do that on a regular basis. I hope you all have an enjoyable weekend. I hope you all have a fantastic trading week next week. The only thing left to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.